Okay guys, I'm just going to hit some three woods down here, down range. Now there's a, I don't know if you can see, but there's a gate down there. From here it's about uh, 230 metres. And I'm just going to try, and it's about, it's only about eight feet wide. I'm going to try and hit some shots down towards it. And I'm going to see my ball going through the gate before I hit it. And this is with the, uh, the revolving door or the gate. That's out the gate. That's out the gate. Well, it's not. It landed short of the gate and it must be wet down there and it just actually pulled up but it was right on the line that gate's eight feet wide guys now how do I do that I see it I see it going there no point in having of just looking down somewhere and, and having a random you know mental visualization you've got to have an absolute specific visualization and of course that, that gate is about as specific as you can get, something 8 feet wide at 225 metres, or 30 metres. That's out the gate. That is out the gate. It's amazing, it must be really wet down there. We had a lot of rain last night. But it must be wet because it was just right on the gate and it just came down in front of the gate and stopped dead. But right in between the eight foot gate. Now when you practice guys, you've got to do this. You've got to have a gate mentality. There's absolutely no point in just hitting shots. Because hitting shots have got nothing to do with golf. And you'll say, oh yeah, but I want to get the feeling for the shot. Well, let me tell you guys, the only feeling you want is a feeling of hitting shots that are relative to golf and the target situation. And just hitting multiple shots has got nothing to do with, uh, with playing golf. You have to target something and you have to be specific when you do target it. I'll hit some this way over the camera. Now, there's a big tree up here in the cow paddock. It's actually, I can't get there with a three wood. But it, it will be my, my, uh, it'll be my, my mental target. You see it out there? It'll be my mental target. Well, it's not far away from it. Right on line with it. Couldn't get there because it was about 245. But uh, it's pretty close. And I saw it, guys. I mean, I just saw it. There's another tree over here. You really try and hit it, Jage. If you really smash this, you can get it there. I really tried to hit that very hard. And just, just pushed it a tad, probably four or five yards to the right because it's a little bit uphill and no spikes and I just spun. But you know, it was right on line, but just about four or five yard push. But I actually tried to hit it a bit hard. And I don't do that on the golf course. If I can't reach the target, unless I can bounce it or run it or flip it over in a hard fairway, I mean, I just don't try and do that. <clears throat> and again, that's part of the discipline. And I guess that's why I don't get into trouble a lot when I play, because I don't try and hit career shots. 
I mean, I'm, just, I'm just happy to um, to hit a shot that that the next one is uh, is playable. I'll try and cut this one into that target. See it. Now this is still the gate post, guys. It's a little slider. Okay. So that's just a little bit of visualisation. I just wanted to do that for myself today. And I'm testing this audio, guys. So that's why I'm doing a lot of videos. Just trying to get the settings right on the audio. Got the freeway here and it's still... It's still tough to get rid of a lot of the the ambient noise, but um, but we're working on it. Uh, just hit a couple of my. I've got a really strong rescue here. It's um it's only actually 14 degrees. I don't. It, it can't, it's got 17 on it, but we put it on the machine. It's only 14 because I know when I first got it, it just was so just went so low and I thought wow so I changed the shaft in and put a slightly softer shaft in it and it's um it's still really strong off the ground it goes as far as my three wood sometimes when I get it I made it half inch longer it's actually quite heavy so it slows me down so there's a tree up here at about two about two ten which is which you know I should be able to just get this up there as a carry wow that's landed right at the top of the tree in the tree so that would have been a good shot into a green because that really would have sat down beautifully just hit a couple this way guys and this is good out of it. Well, it's not really designed for this deep rough because it's a, uh, it's a very, very, very strong golf club. But we'll hit some down towards the gate. Now, guys, that's what that's what I would term one of my misses gone dead straight but because I've got no spikes on I just lost a little bit of traction club came up a little bit and I got it you know probably third groove something like that still went dead straight and if someone was over there they wouldn't know that but I can feel it so that was the point I was making about my misses are not horrible uh, you know they I clearly know when I when I don't hit it properly but they're not they're not they're not devastating and they're not they don't create any problems for me they still go straight now see if I can turn one flat down and try and get it down to that gate now I tried to trap that and I just hit it too low and just got an ever so slight pull again because of this uneven terrain here but it's just it's only pulled about you know five yards left of the gate still would have been eminently acceptable but good contact very good contact I'll hit this one out towards the old Ford Fairlane out there Wow, that's just flown the forward fair lane by 30. Oh yeah, I suppose we're a bit closer here. That's gone miles. Again, guys, equipment. If you could carry, if you could really work out what's good to hit. Now, this club is very, very strong. Now, if you can have sort of, you know, deeper rough like this and you can get the club to sort of get down a little bit, you know, in behind the ball and under the ball, you can really pop it out of this stuff. I mean, that's gone as far as my three wood. And, and this is very worthwhile on occasions on the golf course when you want to do that. I mean, I mean that was a really, really strong shot. But not off a tight fairway, it's, it's really tough. You've got to really just hit down on it like an iron. 
Okay, see if we can put this right over the uh, the uh, the roof of the old Ford Fairlane. There it is, guys. Gee, that's long. See, that's crazy. See, there are occasions, and this is shorter than my three wood, but that's gone as far as my three wood. And I think it comes about because of the efficiency of the hit. Because it's shorter, it's more controllable. Um, and it's a very, very powerful head. It's just got that, if you can get it up, it's low spin, and it really goes. I mean, there's always there's always trade-offs. I mean, it's not the club you want to hit into a to a hard green because it just it, it is a low spin club and having not much loft on it, you can't hit it high enough unless it's a very long green. You can hit it on the front and run it up to the back. But if you think you're going to hit this in and it's going to come down softly and stop, it's not going to do that. And you have to know the capability and limitations of of the equipment you play with. That's that's really what you you need to do when you're you're sort of trying to put your equipment together all right last one so i'll really see if i can hit this i'll try and turn this one see if i can hit as far as the driver what i call a texas turn down i mean why would you ever do that jh well you never know you might you might be on a par five where there's a lot of wind and a hard fairway you don't want the three wood up in the air you want to knock this down and bounce it on See if I can do it. That fence down the back there is about 245 metres. Fairway is certainly not hard out there, it's actually wet, so, but I'll try and turn it down. There's the shot. Perfect shot. A bit hard with these balls because they do vary. And they've got a lot of paint in the dimples and normal golf ball would take off and would keep accelerating but these ones with all the paint in the dimples they just tend to um, to back up a little bit and they're very high spin. Okay, let's see if we can turn this one down even more. That's the one. Gee, that's a good shot. For me, I love this club. You know, I bought this club I was in a pro shop, actually our pro shop here, and it was just in the bargain barrel. It, 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 it's a Wilson D100, and it had those really good Ozic Matrix Altus shafts in them, and they were like about, out here they were about 295 bucks, and they had them on special for $75. And a buddy of mine wanted, wanted a couple of uh, hybrids, so I bought him a couple, and I actually had a hit with them. And they were so good that I went back and got some for myself. I've just changed the shaft, the same shaft, but I made, I got the, uh, I've just put the, just the stiff in it, the normal stiff. Uh, it's just a little softer and, and I got a, a shaft and I just didn't tip it as much and it's just enough to take advantage of the, of the extra um, or, or the really strong loft. Okay, we'll just smash this. And this is the gate, this is the, uh, the revolving door at the uh, Ritz Hotel in London. Now there's a perfect example of of my misses not being devastating. I mean, I just, again, just slipped a little bit on this wet grass here, and I've just pushed it. Pushed it about five yards. <laughs> Not going to give me any trouble. That's, that's probably the state or the extent of a bad shot for me. I mean, I don't really get horrible off the chart. I mean, I have over the years. <laughs> I've hit some of the worst shots that have ever been hit but you know in the last sort of 10 years when I've refined my golf swing I certainly haven't hit uh, a lot of awful misses okay last shot really see it hit Jay. that's it that's the best shot of the day that's gone miles 
So that's way down near the fence. That's almost to the fence. Okay, guys, just again a little bit more. Just a few angles so you can have a look. And again, we're testing the audio, so there's a lot of videos today.